Okay, yeah, Drake is still here. Of course he is. So they kept Drake and Phoebe, and they uh, added in Serena and Bede. All right. Drake dragon types. I think we save Lusamoth. Tentacruel's not going to be able to do much damage because, you know, dragon, res dragon resists normal or water and electric. Everybody else can do damage, though. Skarmory has Iron Head, Tangrowth, Fighting Dark. I kind of want to start Drasperith. I don't know, dude. Maybe we just stick with starting Malarkey. Oh, I, need give her, I gave everybody uh, Berry Juice to hold. Maybe I should do that again. It's not really much help, but it could save our lives. You never know. Only dress Spareth and Tentacruel lost their Berry Juice. Okay, here we go. I am the last of the Pokemon Elite Four, Drake the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me. Oh boy, okay. Let's see what we got here with Drake. Starting off hot with a level 67 Dragonite, dude. Oh my god. Holy jeez. Oh my god. I just got outplayed. I'm going to predict a fly again. Okay, good. He got outplayed there by me after he outplayed me. Okay, well, <laughs> he wasn't going to fall for it a second time. All right, let's uh, let's see if Tentacruel can do damage with uh, the Thunderclap. It's new. Oh, we only have two Thunderclaps left. Make that one now, okay. So if we do lose here, I know how to replay that. We just don't fly first turn. Oh, we lived. Let's go, Tentacruel. That should knock it out. Dude. Why? Why did you live? Oh my gosh. Okay, um... I want to save Lusamoth. Tangrowth's not going to be fast enough to take this thing out. Tentacruel was faster. How fast are you? 155? Okay, I can't trust Skarmory or Tangrowth to be faster, so I'm just going to go to Dress Spareth now. Our big hitters are going to have to be Dress Spareth and Lusimoth. Dress Spareth's a double-edged sword, though, because he's also obviously weak to Dragon. Garchomp. Oh, boy. I could do I could play this out two different ways. I could Thunder Wave and hope and pray for paralysis, or I can just Dragon Pulse. How much does that do? Ugh oh, not enough. And it has Earthquake. Okay. It's only three down, dude. 
He has he already here he he's here he's already shown me two pseudo legendaries. This man's rocking three pseudo legendaries, dude. Three pseudo legendaries. Don't you think that's an that's enough? Do you need that many pseudo legendaries? Holy jeez, man. Like, does he really need that many? This thing's gonna try to freaking toxic stall me. What the hell? Can he not hit me with anything? Does he only have dragon attacks? I think he might only have dragon attacks. That's why he's toxic stalling, because he can't do anything else. Okay. Four down. We're on a timer, though, because of the poison, the toxic. That thing is a thousand percent faster than me. Oh, no, I did Okay. Yeah, if we're going to lose this, dude. We only have one moon razor left. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we just got destroyed anyways. All right, well, we're definitely losing, but we definitely need a Lepa Berry next time. Because we ran low on Thunderclaps and Moon Razors. Okay. Yep, I already know Dress Barrett is fast as hell, so that's a problem. We can do that to burn it. So now it has low special attack and attack. Definitely gonna roost. Was this was this uh is this five or four? I think this is five. So it's gonna come down to Skarmory versus something else. Damn it, dude! If we had something to like boost our own stats, that'd be amazing. Because this is the this will be the perfect time to set up on the Draft Spareth. With it being burned, lowering its own special attack, so dang it, man. I'm just gonna roost to make sure we have as much health as possible for uh for the next uh for his last Pokemon. We'll just keep roosting, he's gonna keep thundering. It's not gonna do as that much. Like we'll get all our health back in no time. Uh, I don't think, unless this last thing is like a fairy type, like dragon fairy or something else that's weak to steel, I don't think we're gonna... Hopefully it's a physical attacker, because we could burn stall like we're doing now. We definitely could burn stall. We could burn it, roost, do damage when necessary, if it's a physical attacker. We'll have to see though. Dragapult. It's a fire type. You can't burn it. Okay. Well, we lost. I don't think we're beating Dragon Fire Dragapult. Yep. Can't even do damage to it. And we can't burn it because Sizzlebeak. It can't, it can't, it's fire type. It can't be burned. Well, we gave it a good shot. I mean, it can't really do that much damage to us. So maybe we can. I don't know, dude. Let's see. Let's see what we can what we can do here. It's faster than us though. Like we can roost, but what's that really gonna do? It's doing a lot of damage. If we were able to burn it, that probably would have been huge. But we can't because it's fire type. If only if only if oh man, if only he knew something to boost his own stats, but he doesn't. That would have been huge. only have freaking three roosts left wait as long as he doesn't attack us we get really lucky here we could sneak out a win if we get really lucky he's trying to will-o-wisp it's not gonna work so wait four more i think unless we get a crit we need four iron heads unless we get a crit four iron heads i think 
Gotta heal here. Wait. Do we only have one roost left? Dang it, we do. Wait. Wait. I, we just won. We just won. What? Why did he... That is crazy. Instead of going for Dragon Pulse, he just... He just kept Will-O-Wisping. What? I don't know what went wrong with the AI there, but we actually won. That's insane. Oh my god. I can't believe we won that. <laughs> I literally cannot believe we won that. Uh, okay. I don't think we should have won that. We should have lost. But the Dragapult literally kept going for Will-O-Wisp. Huh. Okay, I'll take it. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go. Go onwards. The final test awaits. All right, well, here we go. I don't. I definitely don't think I should have won that. <laughs> he definitely should have won there because I didn't have enough roosts to stall him out. But for some reason, he decided to just spam Will-O-Wisp, which was great for us. Oh, man. All right. So last is going to be Wallace, who is going to have water types, right? Interesting. The only one that can't do much in this battle is going to be Skarmory. We do have Dress Spareth with Thunder. We have Tentacruel with Thunderclap. And we have everybody else who can't do super effective damage, but they can do some damage. Actually, Malarkey has Leaf Blade. So that can be super effective damage if we really need it, so... Yeah. Oh boy, dude. The one thing I think that's really making this tough is the fact that we're underleveled. Like, they capped us at 60, and yet Drake had Pokemon... His, his highest was at Dragapult at 71, so... That's one thing that's making this really hard, is that they're keeping us underleveled going against these uh, these trainers. Alright, let me go ahead and Lepaberry, because I know we're running low on Thunderclaps. We're running low on... I didn't want you to hold it, I wanted to use it. Running low on Moonraiser. Let's, anything else we're running low on in terms of moves? We can use one on Fly... Fly, Iron Head, and Roost. Anything that's yellow or red. Fly, Iron Head, and Roost. So Fly... I mean, it's our last battle. Might as well use all of them. Iron Head and Roost. Okay. Here we go. Let's save and let's get ready for the champion. Okay. Let's do this. I'm coming for you, Wallace. I'm coming for you. Okay, here we go. Welcome, Mark. That incident in Satopolis City, that was superb work. Putting an end to that crisis all by yourself. Oops. It wouldn't be fair to say that you all alone ended the crisis. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokemon. We trainers raise Pokemon by giving them items and by teaching them new techniques for battle. But we ourselves also learn many things from Pokemon. And this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now, who can most elegantly dance with their Pokemon in Hoenn? Show me right here and now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right. <laughs> here we go. It's champion time, baby. Starting off with a wish cast. That's already level 71, dude. Oh my god. 
It's four times weak to Leaf Blade, though. It's not stab damage. And we one-shot it. Let's go. It's one down. One, one down. He was 11, 11 levels ahead of me, dude. Holy jeez. Okay. Oh, Tentacruel. It's definitely going to go for an electric attack. We have no ground. So no matter who we switch to, somebody's taking damage. Dressbareth is four times resistant to electric, though. So we could go that direction. Let's try it. Okay, he went for Thunderclap. He went for Priority. Um, I'm scared to go to Thunder because I know this thing can get an ability that, like Electra, it's not Volt Absorb, but it's like Volt Absorb. So I don't know if I, I know we can get that ability. I don't think mine has that ability though. I think it's his hidden ability. Yeah, mine just has Rain Dish. So I don't I don't know if I want to risk thunder. I don't want to, I don't want to risk boosting his attack. So I'm just going to go for dragon pulse, see how much it does. It's a 3 shot. This thing has poison jab. Okay. He crit me, dude. Oh, if he would have not crit me, I would have risked I would have risked thunder. Cuz if dragon pulse did that much, thunder would have probably knocked it out. But he had to crit me, so Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, what do we do now? It has Poison Jab, so we don't want to go to Lusamoth. Priority Thunderclap, don't want to go to Malarkey. I don't know if a Thunderclap for my Tentacruel is going to be enough to knock it out. It should have a Water Attack, so I don't want to go to Skarmory. I think our only option is Tangrowth. I think that's our only option. We just go for a cheap shot. Okay, tend to curl down. Did a lot of damage to that overcharge. I was a little scared, honestly, but we lived it. Next is a Lapras. We're definitely not faster. We can try a Bramble Bash, but we're definitely not faster. Yeah, there's no way we're faster. Not being 13 levels under and Tangrowth not being fast to begin with. Okay. We could go to Malarkey and attempt a Sky Uppercut. Super effective stab sky uppercut. That did nothing. Well, oh, wait, what? Why did that do so much? Did he have like an ability to where? Hmm. That did so much more the second time around. Does Lapras have like an ability to where moves do less damage if he's at full health? That might be the case, because that did so much. We didn't get a crit there. That did so much more the second time around. I expected to just do a little bit more damage and then get knocked out, but okay, I'll take it. It's three down. Three down. 
Malarkey's not long for this world. We're just gonna... F oh, wait. Can we knock out the Ludicolo with one fly? Oh my god. Malarkey, let's go. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute, Malarkey. Wait a minute. Why would you just send out a Ludicolo like that? What is wrong with you? Okay. Um, this thing's not part ice, right? It's just water. Does Sky Uppercut have like a higher chance to crit or something? Would it be worth going to that? Because they're both 100. I don't know if it's worth going to... S I mean, I guess we can just fly and see what it can do to me. Raging Waves. What the hell is that? Okay. We took out half its health. Do we go to tend to cruel now. Do we go to tend to cruel and go for a thunderclap on this Milotic? That's the big question. Do we risk our tend to cruel? I think we have to. Okay. I think, he, I think he has one left, right? One left or two left? One left. It's not even his ace. That my low tick was probably his ace. Okay, I think we're good. I think we can call this a W. I think we can call this a W. Yeah, this is a W. Let's go, dude. There we go. We won. We are now the champions of Hoenn. Again, let's go. We did it. All right, not as bad as I thought it would be. Not as bad. Malarkey really pulled through there, dude. <laughs> Malarkey and Tentacruel pulled through there in the end. Oh, man. Definitely for our team, I think Bede was definitely the hardest battle. Bede was hard. Phoebe was kind of difficult. Drake, kind of difficult. Like, they're kind of difficult. Like, we probably should have lost that battle with Drake, but I think a second try we definitely could have beat him. And we defeated Wallace with really no trouble at all. So there we go, dude. I, the champion, fall in defeat. That was wonderful work. You were elegant, infuriatingly so, and yet it was utterly glorious. All right. So yeah, uh, Elite Four and Champion in order from weakest to, to weakest to best. At least for our team. The weakest was Serena. I think four is definitely going to have to be Wallace. Because we had like a couple of Pokemon left. <laughs> I think we had three Pokemon left. And we wiped him in one try. And he was like 15 levels ahead of us. So yeah. I think it goes Serena. Wallace. Phoebe. Drake. And then Bede. In that order. So. There we go. The Pokemon you sent into battle. At times they danced like a spring breeze, and at times they struck like lightning. It was with light yet sure-footed elegance that you led your Pokemon. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. You now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League. I now proclaim you to be the new Hoenn region May, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Mark, here's some advice before you challenge the champion. Who let you in here? Huh? What? 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 Mark, could it be that it's already over? See? What'd I tell you, May? Didn't I tell you you don't need to worry about Mark? Mark, you've finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Pedalberg Gym... I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you'd actually become the champion. Ah, yes. Uh, what became of your Pokedex? Here, let me see. Hmm. So you've seen a hundred and caught twenty. Some Pokemon only appear in certain areas. You must be persistent. On a nationwide basis, 
You've seen 208 and caught 27. Anyways, congratulations. Now go proudly into the final room. Mark? No, let me rephrase that properly. The new champion. Come with me. May, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but from here on, only those trainers who have become champions may enter. You'll have to wait outside with, the, with Professor Birch. <laughs> I'm just joking. That's okay. That's the rule. Mark, honestly, congratulations. All right. This room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevailed through harsh battles. It is here that the League champions are honored. Come on, let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League and the names of the partners who battled with you. Well, there's our team, dude. Malarkey, who I think is honestly the MVP of the entire team, dude. I think Malarkey probably put in the most work out of everybody. So I'd definitely say he's the MVP. And then there's the rest of the squad. We did it! Hall of Fame. Let's go. And there's me, my metallic outfit. And that's that. Alright, cool. Uh, pretty good game. Pretty good. Not as challenging as I thought it would be. I thought we'd get a pretty decent challenge. It was alright, at least the Elite Four. Like, Everything from start to, like, the before the Elite Four wasn't really that challenging, except for, again, Norman's slacking. Like, I feel like this would actually be a pretty good game for me to try to Nuzlocke, which I honestly I probably should have. I thought it was going to be a bit more challenging, though, which is why I didn't Nuzlocke it, but I think this is honestly a really good game to Nuzlocke. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. The regional forms, though, the regional forms are very cool. And also the, uh, the artwork of, like, all the characters, also really good. But, uh, yeah, so we'll just let these credits roll out, and that'll be the end of our Pokemon Blazing Emerald playthrough. So, uh, yeah. The end. There we go. Alright, well, I guess this is going to be where we go ahead and, uh end things off so again thanks for watching and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time with a different playthrough thanks for watching again peace out